Like other programming languages, it is possible to access individual characters of a string by using array-like indexing syntax. In this, we can access each and every element of string through their index number. Before string slicing, let's learn how does Python assign index to each element in the string. Let us consider a string variable assigned to a string YouTube. So there are 7 characters in the string. So we allocate 7 boxes for indexing. Positive indexing starts from left with 0 and ends with length of string minus 1. And negative indexing starts from right with minus 1 and ends at left like this. So this is how the string looks like when we are done with indexing. So if we access a string of 0, it gives y. If we access a string of 1, it gives us 0. Similarly, for negative index, string of minus 1 gives e and string of minus 2 gives b and so on. Yeah, so string indexing takes three values separated by colon. They are start, stop and skip. Here, start and stop is the range of index where stop returns n minus 1, not n. So let's solve some more examples for clarity. Example 1. So here the given string is YouTube and its indexing is shown. So now we want the output of the following string. Here 7 is the range and it returns n minus 1. Hence string index for 0 to 6 will be considered with default skip value 1. So this is the output of the following string. Example 2. The range of the index is 0 to 7 and it will return 0 to 6 and the skip value is set to 2. Hence, we will start with 0th index then add 2 to 0 and return 2, then 2 plus 2 return 4, then 4 plus 2 return 6 index respectively. So the string printed or sliced would be y, u, u and e. Example 3. Start and stop are default that is assigned automatically and skip value is set to minus 1. Hence, now the index is pointed to minus 1, then minus 1 minus 1 which returns minus 2, then minus 2 minus 1 which returns minus 3 and so on. So, we will get the string in reverse direction. So, now let's do some more interesting example for better understanding where we will get unexpected outputs. Here, I am assigning the string variable to programming for fun as shown. So, let's print the string and we will get programming for fun printed. So let's start slicing. I am giving default start, stop and skip value. You can see the same thing is being printed. And see the all upcoming examples and comment down the one which you found interesting. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel so that you will get regular programming updates.